it's Brooklyn and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. I make videos twice a week, so on Tuesdays and on Fridays. And if you're a transcriber, thank you so so much for your time, love and support of my channel. And I'm really hoping you are enjoying my content. So today's video is going to be a November 2020 Primark haul. Yes, it's technically still October. It's October the 27th or 28th. I think check my phone. Because your girl doesn't keep content with time. But it's actually the 29th. Oh my goodness, I'm well off. Well, a couple of days, but still. 29th of October. That's the first by the way. So, basically, I have a pre work haul for like tackling the month of November. Because I'm putting it up in November. Because I've already done like an October 2020 pre work haul. And that was up to this week or something like that. It's going up tomorrow. So it wouldn't make sense to just do another one for October. So, funny fact was um, that fur top I hauled in the last one was a proper sight, right? The grey top, the, the neckline looked nice on the actual hanger. When I tried that thing on, neckline was like down here, like done underneath my boobs. Literally, if I would have worn that one out, you would see the whole bra. How anyone could wear it as top as beyond me, unless put like a vest top or something underneath it, but I don't really like that. No, it's not my vibe. So I'm taking it back. Well, I was meant to take it back when I got this stuff from pre work, but because we'll go to Ards on the way to the caravan, and the pre work in Ards was mean, like, goes mean to take the top back to that pre work, and I forgot to let the top. It's really my life. So, instead of me waiting, the next time I go to Primark when I have the stuff with me to get more stuff. What I'm looking at the day, she had to get more stuff. But sure it's a haul for you so don't be complaining. Here is big bag, so big bag full of goodies. I am one one of the items now, like this is a uh, jumper, so it's one of our like basic range jumper. It's got white stripes, so it's basically mainly black with white stripes for the middle. So it's black around like the shoulder area. In the middle it has like white stripes and then the bottom rim is black and it's the same thing on the cuffs. They're all like black on the cuffs. The stripes are basically meant to be in the middle. It's gorgeous, it's a lovely, really nice top. Yeah, you get what I mean? It's a gorgeous top. So that was six pound. I think it was meant to be oversized, so size down. So normally I'm between a small and extra small in Primark just depends on the fit of the stuff but I had to get this in 2XS because like a 2 extra small because it looked really oversized in the small and the extra small and I don't like things oversized on me at all I like some little bit of bagginess but not too baggy like more fitted to like slightly baggy I hear things being like too tight where it look like sausage in the clothes I don't like the look like a flipping big pile of clothes and I think you can't cook a pie with your worn stuff that's too tight and also stuff that's too loose. So I like stuff that's like fitted but sometimes I don't mind the orbit if something's a bit baggy but yeah, you get my drift. It's in a four to six so it is quite loose to fit it on me, so it is still a little oversized but not too bad. It's a nice comfortable oversized look and I do like that. It's a lovely jumper and yeah. If you want it not to look baggy on you, I need to keep on flipping sitting back so you can see my bun. Grab my hair another one of them half knot, top knot buns. I don't know how it's turned out, I think it's still a bit wonky, not too bad. But it took me forever to try to get this bun right. I know. But I just love this, the style and trend of like a top knot bun. It's just gorgeous. But yeah. I don't know why I keep on slapping my knees. Like, less, oh, gorgeous. Oh, it's that. But, hey ho. I'm going to shut up. I'm getting into the rest of this haul. So, basically, this bag here. So, I got a few things. Quite a few things. And the next item is these skinny jeans. Basically, they're the mid rise skinny by Primark. I find your skinny jeans come up quite small. So, I got it in a 10. I'm usually around an 8, sometimes 10, sometimes 6. Around that range, just depends on where I go and depends what fits and stuff like that. But I got this in the 10, so they're basically their mid rise skinnies and they're in a dark wash color. It's actually quite dark because it's getting dark now, so I have to flip them 
camera on really, really bright, the maximum brightness the iPad goes. So hopefully you can see all well put clips anyway. But these are like just the basic kind of red rice skate jeans and yeah got them in a tin and they were I think they were like seven pounds yeah and like the dark wash ones so yeah they're nice and a couple to wear them and of course it wouldn't be Brooklyn without me hole on the top basically this jumper is one of their kind of spangly jumpers and I got it in 2XS so four to six because I want to size down because it is quite oversized the same kind of story with this jumper we have on now and this was 10 part no 13 pounds are and you're thinking Brooklyn you already have something similar to this I know if you've seen my videos last year I've got like a light grey jumper of wee bead but I had to get this one dark grey I know basically it looks like that it is quite oversized looking so I hope it hopefully it isn't too baggy on me but yeah and because it's coming into winter time I decided to get myself some new boots so I got these kind of slightly heel boots or the ones with the fur on them they're like in the colour black and they're a basic kind of slightly heeled boots perfect for autumn winter time I got them in a size 4 my feet are like a size 4 obviously or we got them a different size if they weren't size 4 love and these were about £16 so they're basically I'll show you one of them and I'll try to get a clip of what to look like so we can see if you can see there's some fur in the actual boot which is really really nice and comfy because it's getting bloody cold it really really is so we need to have some good warm footwear and warm clothes so yeah got them and plus the buckle design is really really cute so why not and we see for um your fake tan lovers out there what am I saying? You get some days where I'm just like I'm on the ball and some days I'm just basically not so this is one of these days and just not on the ball today. But the next item is this um Primark bronze exfoliate and mitt. So basically it's like their tan mitt but only it's an exfoliate mitt. You get in the shower with your shower gel or like exfoliator. So basically I'll try to show you what it looks like. basically a very kind of scrubby mitt so just like that and you scrub your skin when you're exfoliating your tan off it feels quite abrasive so it'll be good for getting that stubborn patchy tan off so i'm excited to use this next time i exfoliate my tan do my tan again i've done my tan last night well not last night yesterday so a couple of days time this is getting used <laughs> i can't wait but yeah I think this was about two fifty, two pound fifty, and yeah, so I decided to do this one. I seen it actually in Primark last month as well, and I was going to get it, but I then decided to get it that time. So I was like, right, I'm going to get that mitt because the mitt I'm using now, it looks fully mitt and shower, is starting to not be as good as what it was. So just trying to replace it. For two pound fifty, you can't go wrong. So yeah, got myself a week's fully mitt. And that's it for Primark. I do have a few things I got in Super Drugs. So basically, these are the cooling suits. They're perfect for like migraines and headaches. As I got one of the migraines a couple of days ago, and just I find these are lifesavers. I haven't used them in ages, but I just sometimes when you get if you do get he like headaches, and migraines, like you find when you're waiting for like their painkillers settle settle in your um head is so sore and just painful these ones actually have to cool it right down so they're perfect i just decided to get myself some stock up and the last thing i got from this haul is this um barry m um that's well xxl extreme lip plumper in the shade diamond so basically it looks like that i actually put this on before I put my lip combo on and it actually does work it makes lips fuller and i've been trying to get my lips to be fuller like just by doing lip exercises and also by putting this on before doing makeup like this lip, different lip plumpers so yeah so that is it i hope you enjoyed this video hope i didn't ramble on too much and i'll see you again from the next one stay gorgeous bye